blessings, peace and blessings. Let God's grace and let his favor be upon your day so you can soar, family. So you don't have to have so many different problems and so many different issues by letting your father be involved in the four corners of your life. The decisions that you make, the opportunities that you have, your very will, your thoughts, your plans, letting your father in on the four corners of your life, your decision making, your wants, your desires to let him in and fill your life with his grace and his mercy. For we cannot do it alone, family. We cannot. Now, family, this is your brother Jehoshiah Israel here in the house that God has made. And for this morning's show, family, for my allotted time, only for my allotted ancient time, I only got two things, family. I only got two things that I have to go over. And I meant every single word that I said yesterday. I meant it with all of my heart, family, because I'm tired of seeing so many of my brothers and sisters out here in this world get punked up out of their blessings. The devil will punk you, family. He will scare you. He will intimidate you. He will lie to you. He will trick. He will deceive you, family. And if you know all these different angles and what the devil will come at you at, you will be able to resist, family. You will be able to de de deny him. You will be able to fight and reject him and win, family, whatever it is in your life. But let's get into let's get into morning time prayer in this morning time. Family, your God, he brought it to me. He said, it's so many different curses going around in the world. It's our job, family. It's our job to rebuke these people. And you might say, well, you know, Israel, what do you mean by that, brother? I, I, I'm kind of lost. I'm kind of confused. As you look at regular people, regular people in your life, if it not be at your job, if it not be at your school, if it's in the streets, if it's your family, if it's your co-workers, it doesn't really matter where you at. People have a tendency to curse other people and they don't even know that they're doing it. So your God, he told me it's all these curses that's going around in the world and it's our job to rebuke these things off of us. Example, the person tell you, Oh, you're going to be sick. This is how people talk, family, all day long. People who don't know the word of God are living in his will or living in his glory. They're going to automatically say some negative things that push you into the negative to where they're putting a curse on you. These curses are still active because a lot of people, they gravitate towards the curse. Oh, that person said I was going to lose this. They said this was going to happen to me. They said that I was going to lose here. So as you look at people, they're constantly throwing out curses on you, family. You have to reject and you have to rebuke all these different people, family. I don't care if they're in your family. I don't care if they're on the job. And when you heard it, when that person put that curse on you the first time, when they said that negative thing about you, your life, your job, your family, your health, your money, you know what I'm saying? They curse everything, family. Listen to these people talk. Listen to the things that are coming out of their mouth. I don't even think at this point that they know that they're cursed. They're actually putting an active curse on somebody. Remember, your words bring forth life and they bring forth death. Your God told me it's so many active curses that's in this world. They come off the tongue of a man or a woman. So I just want you to check the people, family. I, I don't know if they know what they're doing, family, but since you know what it is, you still have to defend yourself against the curse because it will take root, family. I'm here to uproot all this evil, family, to let you know to be aware of it and to keep your guards up because just because these people at your job, family, and they said that stuff to you, it is still your job to rebuke that person and rebuke that curse. And it's a simple thing, a simple prayer that you would say to your God, God, I rebuke what that person said about about me oh god i rebuke what they said about my finances i yeah i rebuke what they said about my health lord and it's like i don't even know if they know that they're doing this they're so negative so much negative people all day long i just listen to them talk and it, and, it, and it does not even have to be to where that person is sitting there and they trying to put a curse on you. They just naturally, they're naturally pushed in the negative. So something negative is going to come out of their mouth. 
that's how they live their life. The people in the circles that they roll in, all of them people be sitting there cursing each other and they all take these curses and something bad happened to it. So I'm here today, family, to give you that good news, family, to tell you, family, rebuke these people so you don't have none of that stuff taking root in your life, family. It'll, it'll, it'll take root if you let it. Okay, I'm running, I'm running out of time, damn it. Because I'm only trying to keep these shows only seven minutes for my brothers and sisters out here in the world. Okay, the next one that I had to go over, a lot of people, they sitting over there, they like, is Donald Trump, I got to speed up too, I'm sorry, family. They like, is Donald Trump the Antichrist? You ain't got to worry about a man sitting in the seat of desolation and for the whole world to come to an end for you to know who the Antichrist is, family. The Antichrist is all around you, family. He really is, family. He just doesn't take one form. Now, we know what was said in prophecy. All that stuff will be fulfilled. It will come in its time. But we're talking about regular people in your life, family. Anybody can be the Antichrist, family. Anybody that you know that will deny the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Master, your Savior, the Son of God, that is the Antichrist. And anybody that has the spirit of the Antichrist, the devil can use against you. So I want you to be on guard and I want you to protect yourself, family, because a lot of people that you know, everybody, let's get it right, family. Everybody know who, who Jesus name is. Everybody. But what did the Lord say? The only people who rock with me is those who follow the will of my father. So anybody has the potential to be the antichrist just because they could say jesus name don't mean the devil won't be able to be the devil won't use those people against you anybody family i don't care who they is i don't care if they mama if they daddy if they friend if they co-worker if they teacher if they student whatever the person is in your life if they will deny the lord if they will say, oh, I don't like Jesus, I don't know who Jesus is, I don't want to be with Jesus, I do my own thing, I don't believe in God. Those people can be used against you in your life, you know what I'm saying? In your life, those are the people, the devil. What, what was said, family? The devil, the devil went up over there and he whispered those things in Judas' ear. When he put those things inside Judas' heart, they, he could not get out of it. He had to do whatever the devil told him to do. That's you and your life, family. The devil know who the Antichrist is in your family and your friends and your associates and your family. He already know. He uses these people against us, family. So, you know, I put my hand all the way up to Zion, family. I'm telling you the truth, family. I want you to protect yourself out here in this world. Family, I didn't watch so many different people in my life be used against me by the devil. And they had the spirit of the Antichrist with them. I'm already on my sanction a lot of time, family. So I came to give you the truth. Now, I got to get up out of here for today. Peace and blessings be upon you. Let God's glory, let God's grace be upon your day. All glory be given to Yah.